H cuties, strike a pose, because it's fashion week. Time to get up on all the new trends. Now, Childish Gambino, AKA Donald Glover, seems to be setting one of his own. Here's the star with his new blonde beard, looking all happy and stuff. And here's our reaction to his new blonde beard. Giving him the hard side high right there. I'm Sharon Carpenter, your only slightly hairy presenter at your phone's epicenter. And this is HQ Trivia, where blondes have more fun and there's money to be won. Lots and lots of money. It's season two of HQ right now. Bigger, blonder, and full of surprises. You just never know what can happen when we are live, that's for sure. Now, last season, millions of you earned billions of points helping you win big cash. You wanted more, so we're giving you more. For every point earned by players this season, the prize will keep getting bigger and bigger until the season finale at the end of February, the end of this month. Now, it's time to check in on that prize. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh, look at this. It now stands at $72,895. Who knows? just how high it's going to go. Now you win points by answering questions correctly and sharing to social from the HQ app. Points help you reach levels. Leveling up gives you free passes. A free pass lets you get a question wrong and still stay in the game. The higher your level, the more free passes you have. The highest you can reach is level 10. So get on up there. If you hit level 10, that means you'd only have to answer a few questions correctly to win HQ for the rest of the season and hold Hold on tightly because this season we're giving out even more cash than we did the last time around. Lots of money. Now tonight you are playing for five thousand dollars, five G's, and a whole lot of points to help you boost your status in the game and level up even faster, like Sierra. Now remember, extra lives—they keep you in the game. You can buy one now if you see it on your screen. It's the way to stay in the game if you get a question wrong. You can also earn one for free by playing five days in a row. Just remember, don't use them on the final round because it won't work. You're not allowed. Okay, it's time to put down the peroxide and the Rogaine because we're about to get to some tapping. Let's get to the quizzing, shall we, players? Let's do it. Here we go with Q1. The letters in the wrestling company WWE stand for World Wrestling What? Essayists, Entertainment, Enchiladas. It's an E. But what could it be? Do you smell what The Rock is cooking? Well, it's not enchiladas, that's for sure. Whether real or staged, one thing it always provides is pure entertainment. That is the E we were looking for here. 297,000 of you with the body slam. Fight scantily clad bodies and crazy storylines. Who needs reality TV when you've got the WWE? Now tomorrow, get your gowns on and your tuxes because we are bringing you Grammy Trivia Night. Better have your speeches ready if you hope to win. That's happening at 9 p.m. Eastern. Tomorrow's gonna be a good one, especially for you music lovers. All right, Q2. Which vegetable is not a gourd, squash, lettuce, pumpkin? Oh my God. Which one could it possibly be? If you tapped on squash, then we've got beef. Down with the club sandwich, but not the god squad. It's lettuce. It's not a god. And you are turning over a new leaf right here. How many of you tapped on lettuce? 290,000 of you going green. Now, a god is typically a large fleshy fruit with hard skin and is never just a bunch of green leaves. So now you know if you got that wrong, 15,000 if you did. Okay, have you heard the word? Hello, word nerds! We have a new live game show called HQ Words where you solve word puzzles to win cash. Now, if you know how to spell, you know how to win. Come play and win some money. Words is on every night right after trivia, hosted by the word nerd herself, Anna Roisman. Try it out. Tap the button right there. You see it right now to subscribe. It's a lot of fun. Word up. Who's ready for the next question? Is Q3 coming at you? Which word can mean either speak or total? Fully, utter, relate. Well, speak up then. I can't hear you. Speak or total? 
It's a dual meaning. Okay. Since when has relate meant total, let alone speak? That is just unrelatable. Little more than a mutter. The answer is utter. I didn't stutter, mother lovers. 242,000 of you got it correct. Now that you uttered utter, you are an utter success. And I'm probably utterly annoying right now. All right, Q4. Which superhero gets his powers from a ring, green lantern, green arrow, green hornet? You're going for the green tonight. $5,000 worth of it. Gollum gets his powers from a ring, but he's gray and evil, not green and good. Keeping things lit, he who wields the ring is the green lantern. There he is with his super powers. Did you have the superpowers to get this one correct? Yes, 244,000 of you did. We lost 45,000 of you, though. The Green Hornet is the grandnephew of the Lone Ranger, while the Green Arrow has some sort of arrow fetish. Q5, which is not a Greek column style, Doric, Corinthian, Trojan. What do you know about that Greek architecture? It's quite beautiful. If you get this right, you are a true pillar of society. Hope the horse didn't fool you again. Trojan is the answer that we were looking for. No horsing around for 203,000 of you. Well done, 70,000 of you down there. There is actually no such thing as a Trojan column. There is, however, the Trajan column in Rome. Close, but no buttress. Q6. By distance, which of these nations is closest to the United States? Jamaica, Bahamas, Cuba. I'll go the distance for any of these. It's worth the flight. Now, if you tapped on Jamaica, you mash up already. Cuba is closer to Key West than Miami is, but closer still is the Bahamas, mama. You're slathering on that sunscreen already. That was an absolutely savage question. Oh my goodness. 200,000 of you gone here at Q6, not even halfway yet. 58,000 of you are the Bahama mamas of the bunch and papas as well. Now what's cool is you can travel to the Bahamas without a US passport, but good luck coming back home again. Ouch, that hurt to watch that one. We're halfway, Q7. In Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, who found the first golden ticket? Violet Beauregard, Baruch Salt, Augustus Gloop. The first golden ticket. Charlie found the fifth one. Three spoiled brats, but who was the first to score a ticket to meet the chocolate maker and their maker too, unwittingly. The most gluttonous of the group, Augustus Gloop. Augustus, how does it make you feel to be the first golden ticket finder? Hungry. Any other feelings? Very sorry for Wonka. Uh, poor Willy Wonka. And Charlie as well, Augustus Gloop was the answer. You're still in the loop, 54,000 of you. Now we all have at least one friend who needs an everlasting gobstopper, don't we? That should shut them up for a while. Q waits. What leader was the inspiration for Walt Whitman's famous poem, O oh, Captain, My Captain, Ulysses S. Grant, Abraham Lincoln, George Washington. It's time to swim, not sink. If you weren't for George Washington, then your fearful trip is done, and not in a good way. Aye, aye, Captain. Abraham Lincoln is what we were looking for here, and that was another, that was another savage. Not quite as savage, but still savage enough. 43,000 of you are gone here at Q8. Rough game, right? 14,845 of you are still with us. All right, Whitman wrote the poem to honor Lincoln after his death. He became so identified with the poem, he wished he'd never written it in the first place. Q9, the co-founder of Barnum and Bailey Circus is responsible for the mascot of what university? Ohio State, Stanford, Tufts. Go HQTs, go. Go HQTs, go. The university has a real animal as a mascot. Instead of some big fuzzy thing, the elephant in the room is Tufts University. And you are schooling them tonight. 10,413 of you are. P.T. Barnum was a trustee of the school. He gave them Jumbo as a gift after stuffing him. Now his ashes sit in a peanut butter jar for good luck. Who's luck? Not the poor elephant, obviously. Q10, which of these bones is located below the waist of a standing person? Voma, Palatine, Navicula. I've got a bone to pick with you. 
If you went for Palatine, you just lost your Valentine. We've got to be particular because the answer here is navicular. Navicular is the bone below the waist. 6,062 of you picking the right bone there. There are 206 bones in our body while the other two are all in your head. The navicular hits below the belt in your foot to be exact. Don't forget everyone, HQ Words coming up next, right after HQ Trivia, so keep your phones close and well charged. The penultimate round, are you ready? Of course you are, Q11. For more than 100 years, Nintendo has been making and selling playing cards featuring whom? Confucius, Thomas Edison, Napoleon. It's a long time, over a century. This guy's been on the cards way before Mario. Nintendo tried its hand at a bunch of other stuff from cab services to love hotels. And of course, playing cards too. Hope you didn't come up short here. It's Napoleon who's on those cards. 4,016 of you standing tall in the game right now. Time to shuffle your deck because we are dealing into the final round with 4,016 players left in the game. Another 556 using their extra lives to get back in. $5,000 up for grabs on this, the big one. It's Q12. Good luck, players. The old fashioned name for a group of bears playfully implies that they are involved in what kind of work? Running a government, cooking a stew, solving mysteries. Don't let me get grizzly on you. If a grizzly wants to make a stew, you are probably the main ingredient. Not cool. Forget running a government. You should be running for your life from that group of bears, AKA sleuth of bears. Mystery solved. It's solving mysteries for the win. We've got 1,127 winners. You smashed it. <laughs> Congratulations to our 1,127 winners. You survived that crazy savage question and another one. Well done to you. You are taking on $4.44. We've got uh, Tabia uh, right there looking pretty joyful, having a picnic or something. We've got Garfield the Bins, uh, who's on the right track, obviously. We've got Mrs. Sandy. What a, a cutie. We've got Collie. Uh, congrats to all of you for all of those points. They will help you level up so you can win the big bucks. And we have got lots of prizes in store this season. Uh, and remember, we are giving away more money this time around than we did the last time. Well done, HQTs. That was a close shave for some of you, but you came, you played, and you totally slayed. I'm Sharon Carpenter. Here's where you can find me. Say hi on the socials, and of course, let me know how you did tonight. Can't wait to find out. Of course, we'll be back at 9 p.m. Eastern tomorrow with Grammy trivia, so be there. Until then, have an epic rest of the night. Bye.